right, so I'm here at Lone Pine Campground. Tomorrow I plan on going up Olancha Pass, or as far as the snow will allow at least, but here's my campsite for the night. Pretty sweet. Turn around this way, and Mount Whitney. So since I have some daylight, I'm traveling a little bit up the portal trail. Probably won't go very far. Probably go a mile up or so, turn around and go back down. That was a pretty cool hike. I only hiked up about a mile or so. Because um, the sun's going to disappear here real soon. Anyways, time for dinner soon. And for dinner tonight, we're having Patagonia provisions. Spicy red bean chili. I'm already having lobotomy bok from It's a little after eight, which is a little later than I wanted to start, but it took a little while to get here. All right, we're here at Olancha Pass Trailhead getting ready to start the hike. The trail goes up right there. It's not gonna be an easy hike. It's about four and a half miles to the pass and 3,500 feet, and then probably another mile to Summit Meadow on the other side down. If I'm gonna go that far, we'll see. But let's get started. This trail is no joke. <laughs> Right off the bat, coming straight up this hill and just going straight up. I figured that was gonna be the case, but slow and steady is gonna be the game on this one. In pretty short order, you get up here and the views are great. We're looking at Owens Valley. But I do have a lot of water because I'm not expecting any on this hike. It goes to show what kind of a snow year we've had since it's April 7th and there's no snow up there, patches. And all the creeks are dry, so speaking of no water, this makes me sad every time. I would have loved to have seen Owens Lake as a lake, but thanks to LA, it looks like that now. So it's worth noting the lack of shade. Granted, I'm well over 6,000 feet at this point, if not seven. The sun beats down on you. My suggestion, because it's only April 6th, is if you're gonna do this hike, start at the buck crack of dawn. And if you're gonna do this hike in the summer, don't. You're a crazy breed. I not lonely without me. One more than you have, you think you need. And when you think more than you want, your thoughts begin to bleed. I think I need to find a bigger place. Cause when you have more than you think, second you breakfast, need more space. probably half of this, and I've been sweating like a pig. So it's time for some electrolytes too. Your crazy breeze. I hope you're not lonely without me. Society crazy and deep. I hope you're not lonely without me.
there's those green mossy cliffs in the shadows that a couple of miles ago I was looking up at. Now I'm looking down at them. The elevation gain on this hike is for real. But I think we're almost there. I believe that's my pass. Let's go. For every point you make your level drops. Kind of like you're starting from the top. And you can't do. Well, we finally hit some snow. For being only April 6th, I wasn't even sure I'd be able to make it all the way up here. I figured the snow might turn me around, but we go through. <laughs> this is it. I mean, it is a little sketchy. <laughs> you don't want to slip and go down that, but. I mean, piece of cake. This last stretch is brutal. Have mercy on me. I hope you're not angry. If I disagree, society crazy and deep. Oh, I think we made it. I think this is the pass. Let's find out. It's, I think a little over 9,200 feet. Not super high, obviously we're still on the tree line. But, hell of a climb from where I started. Oh. Huh, just kidding. <laughs> This is not even the pass. I still have to go up there. Gotta love fall summits. Let's go. I don't know how many fall summits. <laughs> have teased me on this hike so for the third time in my head at least I'd like to say that what you can see ahead of me is the top While we're here, we're essentially on a Lancha Pass right now. Not 9200. Not your most glorious high Sierra Pass, but it's a hell of a workout to get here. I'm going to go over this crest right here, and on the other side is Summit Meadow. It's not even noon yet, so. Sounds like a good time to throw up the hammock, eat a bunch of food, take a nap, and then hike on down out of here. The map says it's 4.1 miles to Lancha Pass. It's not. I'm clocked in at almost five so far. Summit Meadow is about as far as I'm gonna hike. And unless you're gonna melt snow, there's no water. There's not been a drop of water on this whole hike, so good thing I carried enough. I'm gonna go find somewhere to string up the hammock and eat a bunch of food. Maybe even take a nap. Well, I'm here in my hammock. I got myself a little bit of fruit punch. Got some salami, some pepper jack cheese sticks, some tuna, some wheat fins, big ass Hershey bar with some trash stuck to it. Yeah, I'm gonna chow down, then I'm gonna lay here, take a nap, listen to the breeze. Take my time. 
rejuvenate for the hike out of here. Be a good day. I found some water. <laughs> it's not super clear and it was just kind of under the snow in a little pool over there. I'm gonna filter the hell out of it because Obviously cattle graze up here So Well It's almost two in the afternoon packed up my lunch spot and Making my way back to the trail So I can book it back out of here a little over five miles All the way downhill so Should be better than coming up there's this badass tree that I had my hand on on the way up here. I think it's a Jeffrey. I'm probably wrong about that, but looking at its bark, that's what I think. But my favorite tree I've seen up here so far. All right, where the hell is the trail? <laughs> oh, there it is. And you know, if I'm being honest about this trail, it's not really the destination. <laughs> there really isn't a destination. When you get to the top, it's kind of underwhelming. You know, even you're over 9,000 feet, which isn't super high for the Eastern Sierra, but there's no granite peaks, there's no lakes. There wasn't even water barely. I'm not super happy about the water source I found. <laughs> the best thing about this hike really is the views on the way up and the way down. Owens Valley. Gee, I wonder if this is an avalanche zone. Looks like it was cleared out pretty good one of these winters. that turn out way down there at the end of the road it's where I'm parked all right I made it finally back to the trailhead I think at this point round trip 11 miles or so that's a nice sight to see my car not broken into all right I'm driving home a lynch pass trail done uh, cool trail a couple takeaways is it's exposed, it's brutal, it's steep, it's hot, and there's no water. So, South Sierra Wilderness is pretty. Uh, doesn't really compare to all the areas to the north of it. Golden Trout, John Muir, Ansel Adams, all that stuff. Um, glad I did it for sure. Would I do it again? Probably not. There's just so many routes in the Sierra that are awesome that I either haven't done yet or would rather do again. So anyways, uh, blah day in the high Sierra is still 
better than most days. So I'm gonna get myself a gas station hot dog and an ice cream and see you on the next trail.